Lily, really, do you know what most victims can do when a bully comes after them? Absolutely jack squat frickin' nothing. I was bullied all through middle and high school, and I, for the most part, was, well, unable to protect myself from them, and my friends had to stand up to them for me. My issue with Lily here is that she tells victims to beat their bullies' heads in, but in reality that is always nearly impossible. Actually, mostly impossible. I have had several bullies across my lifetime. The first one was in sixth grade, LS, and grandma had to call up the school to get her moved out of my history class. There were others, two boys, A and L, but they were just annoying, followed me around, basically stalker types, and that was across all the years. So I wouldn't listen when the teachers and coaches told them repeatedly to leave me alone, and it made me very uncomfortable. Another girl, E M, tried to strangle me, and my friend Rattles had to pull her off of me. Principals also help a good bit too, Lily. Bullies tear down and demean their victims, making it hard for them to fight back. Or do you not understand that? So, something else you don't seem to understand. If you bully a bully back, that makes you a bully, and that also makes them come at you just full-blown harder. Yeah, I don't think you realized that one there. Lily, turns out violence isn't golden for bully victims. Next time, Lily, do a little more research before you go around claiming bully victims can easily beat up their bullies, because that's just downright unrealistic. Good day to you, and goodbye.